<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Kyle Davis vlog number 20. I am sitting here with my very good friend, longtime partner in crime. You people know him. Whether you want to book him or not, it doesn't matter. Don't be afraid about what this guy says. He's a little puppy dog, right? I pull out people when I punch. <laughs> or wasp. And he is not alcohol fueled yet, so yeah. this this might be uh, taking an alcohol night off. <laughs> uh, as as uh, I generally say here on the Kyle Davis vlog, I don't ask questions. We just talk about random crap that has happened over uh, this long period of time that we've been doing this uh, stuff. My fir my favorite story when it comes to Arcane, I think uh, we were doing TEW the night after Marshall. <laughs> And I wasn't gonna, you know, I wasn't gonna pop him, you know, at ringside when I was a manager. Yeah. I spit water in his face. Yeah, he did, and I swung at you. Welcome to wrestling. <laughs> Darn it. That, that was, was my, that was my first victory <laughs> against Hayden, actually. Yes, he always, uh, Smack always got the win, except against Arcane. You beat yeah. Hayden a lot. Yeah, I think he's only beaten me once, Casper match. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Um. Oh no, he beat me at L LWA too. Yeah. He beat me twice. I think we're about even. About even. True yeah. partners. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I, it's uh, there's so many stories. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, the first time I was on a road trip with you. <laughs> the 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 fire. Look at the size of the cock on that horse. <laughs> oh, what did I get myself into? Yes, uh, I I I do like to make people uncomfortable by uh, commenting on the uh, enormous penises. Horses. Yeah. Horse trucks that go by. Yeah, the horse trailers go by. Uh, yeah, they always. Uh, that was a fun trip. Get the attention. Um. Let's see here. Uh, the fire that uh, Chance got you at. That was funny. That was the first time I met Murdoch, too. I was scared to death. <laughs> I gotta wrestle that. We did a show in Marshall, as we normally did back then. Well, we kind of got started. And, uh... Where Genesis was born. Uh, Smack and uh, Tadlock were smart. They left to go get changed. I'm like, hey, Murdoch, let's, uh, let's, let's see if Arcane will take the doctor bomb after the show. <laughs> I, get, I, I go into the little uh, dressing area that was separate, and I'm like, Hey, Arcane, want to take the doctor bomb from Murdoch? What's a doctor bomb? <laughs> Sounds painful. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I was on the ground before I knew I was in the air. And uh, I uh, actually kicked him in the nuts, and he got pissy. Yeah, I'm dead selling. <laughs> the show. Heels on the ground. Nut shot. <laughs> Though, that was fun. Yeah, for you. Um... All right, let's let's do some name association here. Okay. You you, I want to see where this will go because we got a lot of time. Um, I say a name, you uh, give me your thoughts on it. Uh, Mark Vaughn. I always like Mark. I always liked wrestling at FEW. I, I like Mark. Right. Been in WWE a couple times with him too. <laughs> he, he was always fun to hang out with. Those should be stories on their own. Let me tell you. Um, Sean Cordova, random name. I don't really know him too well, but he's always been really nice to me. All right. Sean always, I like him. I have problems with him. All right. I've wrestled him once or twice. <laughs> Max Muscles. I like Max. Max is a great guy. One of my friends. I like I like this word association. <laughs> I want to think it's like some random names that we will that we'll never see again. Okay. Um. Uh, um. Uh, Frankie Fisher. Where has that guy been? Uh, he got a girlfriend and vanished. <laughs> As he's is one of my best friends, generally the case. He's yeah. a damn good man. I love Frankie. Yes, he's a good man. He's getting into shape too. I'm very proud yeah. of him for that. He's rededicated he's, himself. Yeah, he's taking himself. He's taking himself seriously, mm -hmm. which I'm I'm very proud of. Um, let's see who else. Um, I'm thinking of like random names. Help me out, people. Comment on this and help me. Oh, it's not live. Never mind. Um. That's something I would say. I'm technologically yeah, blind, you know? Yes, this man hates technology. He doesn't even believe we're really filming right now. No. Yeah, we're, we're just talking to a blank screen. Yeah. It's a little people on the screen there. <laughs> I'd fit them in there. Um, okay, fun story. Uh, remember the, uh, we did a, uh, something for, we did a big favor for Gigolo. He, him and Jennifer work at a library. And <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> please, I please. I saw those bookmarks. What, what happened at the library? What was your perspective? Uh, there was like two people there. <laughs> and they were kind of mentally handicapped, I guess. Trying to be PC here. Which we know I'm good at. That's fine. It's fine. Um, and we just did interviews with them. Showed them me and Jigglo's match. <laughs> it was so awkward. It was very awkward. <laughs> it was all dark and kind of creepy in that place. Now, in... Yeah, we did. We, we, haunted or something. We, we showed these uh, mentally handicapped children... Uh, the the benefits of reading, uh, you know. T hey, he gave us bookmarks out of it. Jennifer's a nice girl. And, hey, and if there had been more people there, it would have been better, I think, because yeah. we could have really been cool. But yeah. like four people showed up, and it was just really awkward. Tell their parents just wanted to get the hell out of there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like half the library was like dark. It was really awkward. It was like a haunted house. Yeah. It was a haunted library. 
Um, let's see here. So many road trip stories. Oh. I don't even. I don't even know. Um, Me either. It's a lot of them. Okay, and I'm gonna tag Mike Fox in this one because I want to get your perspective. Uh, we did. Uh, okay, this is my perspective, and you'll have your perspective too. I rode to San Antonio with Eagle. Palmer and Keith Lee, and uh, we were backstage at uh, WWE Raw uh, right before uh, WrestleMania in Houston. It was when you wigged me out with Taker. Yes, that story. <laughs> uh, and so I rode down with those guys, and we did Raw. Well, they did Raw, and I got to be backstage with them because of you know who I knew. Not that I belonged back there, but I got back there, darn it, and I got to see it from a different perspective. Kind of how I got back there too. Right. The the next night we're in Corpus Christi. And uh, for SmackDown, and he walks in with Mike Fox, and at first I thought he was a member of the ring crew. He wore t uh, jeans. Uh, I didn't know I was getting back there. <laughs> I'm all dressed up, as is everybody, and he's wearing a sweatshirt and, and jeans. Nile hoodie, by the way. But I, I didn't know I was getting back there. It, it was just kind of, hey, come back here. Okay. Yeah, anyway, say no. we're, we're leaving catering, and... Uh, Damn good catering. It was, yeah, very That's fun. the highlight of the... WWE, actually. And since then, you've been back plenty of times. So Four or five times. You're, you're more acclimated now. Uh, Good paychecks. <laughs> even if you don't show up to Laredo. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Ty Bailey. Here he is right here. Uh, um, yeah, so anyway, we're, we leave catering, and we're walking down a narrow hallway, and Big Show and Undertaker are right behind us. And I'm all giving him shit, poking him in the stomach. Hey, hey, Undertaker's like four feet behind us. <laughs> mark out moment. The little door we were walking through was like that big. Later, uh, backstage at the TLC pay-per-view, that was fun. You have an Undertaker story yourself. Yeah, I was. I was sitting there because like all you do at WWE is just sit around and do nothing. It's really boring. But I was sitting there and I, I was like, I have to pee. I have to go to the bathroom really, really bad. <laughs> like I'm an adult. I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna D hall here. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Went to the bathroom. Door was locked. Knock on it. I'll be out in a second. Okay, I sat there. Comes out of the bathroom was Undertaker. <laughs> he was wearing a white shirt and shorts. It was really awkward. <laughs> Completely out of character. And I shook his hand. I was kind of <laughs> obviously me. I'm starstruck by that guy. I get starstruck very few times, but I was there. Shook his hand. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Hey, it's good to meet you too. You washed your hands, right? Oh, always. What? You said that? Yeah. I was trying to be just common guy with him. <laughs> Everyday guy, just tried to hear him like he was anybody else. Oh, if you had a jar of Undertaker pissed, you'd keep it. No comment. He is not denying it. <laughs> That's Take him on Undertaker, Mark. Everybody knows it. No, yeah, Undertaker's a good guy to, to emulate these days. Yeah. Uh, We're about the same age. Uh. <laughs> See, we need a we need like a, a a laugh track on the Kyle Davis vlog. That'd be fun. Oh. Yes, uh, a rim shot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's I don't know. Uh, so much you can't even think of. Yeah, you. I'm really gonna need like a teleprompter now or a yeah, script or I something. Have to write, take a list. Some notes or something like a production meeting. He always, just you always talk about Shreveport. Shreveport, <laughs> uh, BC. You just got tagged in this. Yeah. Uh, I had fun in Shreveport. We went over Memorial Day. I feel very bad for what I did, but yeah. she kind of had it coming. Yeah. Well, yeah, she uh, she brought she brought that on herself. Uh, I went over the top. Turning though. on the light there. I went over the top though. Before that, it was a fun night though. Yeah, uh, made a lot of money that night. Memorial Day, yeah. You actually had the least amount to be mad about. Yeah, like six hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, I I won uh, five hundred at the roulette table and lost it all. But I didn't lose any money. I just lost what I won. But I came back four hundred dollars heavier. Yeah, and uh, he goes to get a beer at uh, we're at the horseshoe. He goes to get the beer at the bar. I pulled out my wallet. Yeah, how much for pay. this beer? I oh, I've never been to a casino before. It's complimentary. I thought he was gonna cry. Uh, I love this country. <laughs> yeah, so a very brief Freeport story. That was fun. That was with this guy here. Yeah, uh, a lot of just random. Uh, we on our way to Bonham for uh, N A W uh, A M W. Me, Hoyt, Tim, and Palmer. Oh, uh, right. Weird, and weird. A random, a random yeah. uh, trip, and uh, we got free Whataburger because Lance was doing his, his British accent. Lance was doing his funky British accent. I think he threw off the uh, the drive through people. What did he say that uh, my my uh, buckaroos or something? Yeah, which isn't even British. So. Yeah, and she was like, "What does that mean?" <laughs> so uh, this has blokes. been a it's blokes, my blokes, my blokes. Yeah. Yes, and uh, that'll do it for this edition of the Kyle Davis vlog. All of you. Blokes out there, thank you for joining us. Uh, this has been fun to just reflect with random people. And as always, I'm telling you, you never know who's going to show up. Maybe someone charismatic like I am. Maybe.
Uh, everybody knows this is the most boring one. <laughs> but thank you all very much. This has been Kyle Davis Vlog number 20. And uh, tune in next time. Kyle Davis Vlog number 21. We're finally going to be legal.